In this video, we show you how to create a green skin color using a green chameleon marker. You're watching Relax and Reset. We bring our 30 years of experience to teach you how to relax and color. So over here, we have an ogre that I guess resembles a very typical ogre, something like Shrek perhaps. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the chameleon pen, the GR3. And this one is just a grass green. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna be using throughout this entire coloring, we're gonna be using the brush nib. So starting off, what we're gonna look at is the color itself of the face. So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use just a marker, just a base color, and look at where the shadows are. So if you have light coming in from this side, what's gonna happen is we're gonna get we're gonna have shadows along here. And we're also going to get shadows around here as well. And it's going to come down. We're going to get shadows just underneath the nose, as well as shadows where the buttons of the nose are. Of course, where the crease is of the cheek, of the smile, and we're going to create another one. Now for the eyes, we're going to get shadows, depending on how detailed you want to make it, we're definitely going to get shadows directly underneath the eyelid over there. And we're also going to get shadows along the base of this. On, and on for this side, we're going to get shadows just underneath this ear right here. And there's going to be a bit of shadow, which we're not going to touch too much over there. Now, starting off, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this in terms of process. So where are we going to get a lot of shadows, depending on where the light's coming from and how much we want to blend using the blending chamber. So in this case, I'm going to start off using a very simple place, which is from this place up, and I'm going to hold for one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test to make sure if it's how I, how I like it. And, and I'm going to just work in streaks. And the reason why I'm working in streaks is I want to have a bit of wrinkles up there. Now I'm going to go back in and hold for one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four, five, six. Again, I'm going to use this to test. And now I'm going to blend it all the way through. Again, I'm going to hold and go back to blending. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to have the dark spot up top and this blending in. So I'm still going to continue blending. And I can see it's good. I'll continue. And as I see it start starting to darken, that's when I'll start to get the edge coming through on both sides. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take care of the top. Right here. And I'm going to do the similar thing going backwards for that little portion right there. Test. You always want to make sure you're testing this. 
because unlike unlike a regular Copic type of marker, you have to make sure that the consistency is right. So in this case, that takes care of that. But what we can always improve on is the little shadow area at the bottom. So I'm going to keep on testing this until we get the right layer of green. And then we get to start to get the blending effect that we we're looking for. Now I'm going to take a look at the nose. Now I'm going to take a look at this part of the nose. Start to get a bit of bit of the shadows coming through. Now this drawing is somewhat different compared to others because what you'll realize is the amount of space that you're blending is quite large compared to most colored pieces. So it's going to be somewhat of an interesting challenge when you start to do this. Now we have this, and this allows us to get the blending effect through here, the nose, almost like an oval where we're starting to fill this entire area. And as we start to do this, you want to make sure the pen is largely vertical. as we start to fill this in, we're going to do it in a similar manner because we're going to have the chin protruding here. And now for this area, this is going to be a solid solid gradient just like this. Now after you're done, you can always come back and edit a few things that you'd like and you can keep on working on it to make sure it's perfect. So what we've done is we've skipped forward and just edited a few of the things. We have obviously fixed in the eyes, colored in the mouth, and over here you could see the image looks much better now that we have colored using all the different elements. And of course it could be improved on, but this at a very basic level is how you color the skin by looking at each different sections at a time. If you'd like to watch the whole video, join our ultimate coloring class where we cover how to color using colored pencils, watercolor, and markers. If you've liked the video, subscribe and share with your friends. For even more resources, as well as free coloring pages every month, head on over to relaxandreset.com and sign up for our email updates. As always, hope you relax and reset today.